That's pure bigotry. The situation scares me more than anything. Your cousin is gay, and you're afraid to have her around your children. Do you think that Jack should lose custody of your kids because he's gay? Yes. He is not a good father. I don't want him around seeing that type of lifestyle. If you hide your children from facts of life, it's only going to hurt them in the long run. They have to know. of America. They are children and their parents say they don't want gay people anywhere around them. They don't want gays teaching their kids, playing with their kids, or even occupying the same room with their kids, even if they are relatives. Today we'll meet people who say, get it straight, I don't want gays around my kids. right for their kids. They want them to be surrounded by the best of everything. But what happens when the best of everything does not include the homosexual population? Because their parents think that it is wrong and dangerous for their children to be around gay people. Meet DJ and his wife, Tamara. Only a few years ago, Tamara found out her father was gay. Tamara was so disgusted and concerned for her child's welfare that she packed up all of her belongings and moved to another state. Tamara, why would you move away from your very own father? I don't know, um, there was a lot of confusion going on, not just with my children, but with me also. Um, the children wanted to know where Grandpa was. Grandpa didn't come around because of the people in his lifestyle, because I didn't accept the people in his lifestyle. So he, cho he did not come around because you did not want him to come around? It wasn't so much that I didn't want him to come around, it's because of the people that would come around with him. Mm -hmm. What was your dad doing? Something. Well, um, his boyfriend, per se, um, was really, um, per se, lower class than, I mean, really crude and saying crude things around our kid, and we just didn't want it. So you say he was lower class and he was crude. Now, did that have to do with the fact that he was a man and not a woman? No, 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 no. no. That wasn't it. It's just his type of, uh, the way he expressed things and stuff, he didn't really care, you know, what he said. And, and oh, this is your dad's boyfriend? Yeah. yeah. We, um, I like her dad a lot. Um, Do you like him less now that you found out that he was gay? No, we feel differently about him. Um, the situation has completely changed. He says he hasn't changed, but we know he has changed. What could possibly have changed now knowing that he's He's not so much a father anymore. You know, when someone comes out and they say, I'm gay. I mean, I had to pull this out of him. I had to ask him if he was gay. And finally he told me, yes, I am gay. The emotions that you go through when you find out that your parent is gay is just out of this world. Um, the closeness wasn't there any longer. All right, do you want to meet her dad? Yeah! Jim, come on out here. Hi. Have you been listening to what your daughter's been saying? Sure I have. What do you think about this? She thinks that your boyfriend is crude. Well, you know, in the very beginning, Phil has a certain way with himself, and I have to do it. I have to admit that in meeting, her, meeting my children, he made a couple of inappropriate remarks to Tammy and DJ. Well, Tammy, right now, caught right on to that. Now, one thing about my daughter and the way I always raised her was to give somebody a second chance, but because of the particular circumstances involved, she couldn't do this. I did give a second chance. <laughs> well, not really. Not really, because from that moment on, it was kind of downhill. Um, we've always been very, very close, my daughter and I. You've been really close, but she moved very far away from you. And she oh, yes, she did. And yes. how did that make you feel? Well, actually, by the time she decided to move, uh, we had not been making as much contact with each other as we had since I came out with her. Um, 
I hear this term lifestyle all the time. Well, it's not a lifestyle, it's a life. I spent uh, all roughly 35 years of my life hiding it from myself. And so when I finally decided that there was going to be no more barriers, and it took a lot of counseling, by the way, when I finally decided that there were going to be no more barriers, I wasn't going to go out and wear a sign, you know, I'm a faggot, but, uh, <laughs> but if somebody was going to ask me what my sexual preference was, I, was gonna, I, was, I certainly wasn't going to lie about it anymore. So I, I praise you for being able to come yeah. through and be true to yourself and to, you know, live yeah. your life the way you want to live it. how you feel after keeping that inside you for 35 years and the own, your, your own daughter who you raised basically by yourself because your wife was ill for so long right. that she can't accept that. I, I can't imagine well, how that must make that you feel. Well, part of that was probably bad because of the way I raised her. I raised her in a fairly conservative atmosphere. I you raised, raised her to not approve no, of homosexuality? No, I did not. He down gave. So do you regret instilling that in her? I don't regret a little bit a little bit of conservatism doesn't hurt anybody and in fact i think it's kind of good all right well guess what guys we have his boyfriend here today you want to meet him too <laughs> bill come on out here <laughs> don't say anything crude here today phil <laughs> how you doing fine so what do you think of the situation here? Uh, his daughter has moved away. He doesn't really get to see his grandchildren. What do you think is going on? Uh, it's bothered me that I haven't been accepted into, accepted into a family, um, part of, of uh, a family. You know, I've, I've tried being um, as much as a, a, a parent to her kids. I've been as nice as I can. I've always... Um, tried watching my language and what I've said. Do you want to clear the air here today? Do you want to tell Tamara and DJ what you want to say? Uh, I'm, I'm always, I'm sorry I've ever said anything wrong. <laughs> um, it's just how I've always been. I've tried always watching uh, what I've said around, around your children. Um, I think even if he had a different boyfriend, I think it, it still wouldn't matter. You it, still don't want him around your kids? Correct. Yeah, I don't want him around seeing that type of lifestyle, uh, that type of, you know, he's only seven, and it would really confuse him. Why do you think it would confuse him? Um, well, seeing two men, uh, you know, together like that. He's questioned it. Why, yeah. why isn't Grandpa with us, you know, why doesn't he have a wife? Why is Grandpa with Phil all the time? And I don't think he's at the age to really disclose this. Could I respond yeah. to that, Ricky? Yes, Jim. When you were being raised, the one thing that I always did in order to prevent an obsession was to take care of your curiosity and any questions you ever had when, from the time you were this high. I don't know how with this but subject. The, I don't know the how. The point I'm trying to make here is is that just simply be honest. Daddy and Phil are together. Just be honest. Remember, the point I wanted to make here is that when children are growing up, I, my children, uh, when they were growing up, any time they had a question of sex, life, living, anything, they got a direct honestly. answer That's to true. only the question they asked. Let you me don't ask volunteer anything. Tomorrow. but. Was, was your dad a good influence on you? Uh, yeah. My dad? Oh, was tomorrow sorry. Was Jim a good influence on yeah. you? So if he was such a good influence on you, why do you think he wouldn't be a good influence on your children? I guess maybe the situation scares me more than anything. Um, children question themselves. You know, it's like they, they'll look at this and... I don't know, I guess I have a very inquisitive child. But what's wrong with being gay? It's not right. <laughs> yes, ma'am. I just want to say in response to the, um, your child, I'm sure that they don't go around kissing and like making out and right in front of the kids. I mean, let, if he has a question, if your son has a, is a son or daughter, I'm not sure. Son. But if your son has a question, then you have to ask or answer it honestly. But I don't think the child would even pick up on it if they don't make it so obvious. You know what I'm trying to say? Like, 
Why would he even? Th oh, that's just a friend of Grandpa's. That's just a friend. We you don't have to go into detail about it, you know. I and mean, as far as I know, I mean, I don't. You you can't be become gay through osmosis by hanging around with no, homosexuals. It doesn't that. happen that no. way. No. We, so can we come to some sort of resolution here? Are you going to allow your father to see your grandchildren? It, it's not so much allowing him. He. He just He's stopped. the one that's cut it off. Yeah, he not cut me. it off because we did not want Phil around. We don't mind him coming and seeing his grandkids. And he chose to stay with stay Phil and, not, and stay away. And God knows, I don't want to hurt Phil. I'm and not that type of person. For years, but I imagine I'm very you are. Uncomfortable. No, I'm not. For We're years, saying you don't want Phil around your kids. That's, that's hurtful. I mean, he's sitting right there. All right, wait, we're going to continue this. I need to take a break. When we come back, cousins who were close until one of them came out and said she was gay. Don't go away. We'll be right back. <laughs> Gerber baby formulas. If it doesn't come from you, shouldn't it come from Gerber? Introducing three new luxury models. Sleek, aerodynamic, with rich metallic finishes. Engineered to go from 0 to 1625. The new Aero Series dryers from Remington. We're out to change the way you dry. Pillsbury's got more cinnamon and more creamy caramel. Gooey, gooey sweet rolls. Just taste them, you can now Pillsbury Sweet Rolls have more of everything you love, so you can have a... Good morning. Next time you see your dentist, you may hear about Advanced Formula Plaques. Because Advanced Formula Plaques is recommended by more than 30,000 dentists. It's the only brand clinically proven to loosen and break up plaque before you brush, so you can brush off even more. That means next time you see your dentist... Another great checkup. ...you'll see what Advanced Formula Plaques can do for you. Advanced Formula Plaques, 30,000 dentists strong. Ask your dentist. Woody the Tree Farmer for Hillshire Farm. Hmm, great tree. You know it takes great trees to make a great tasting little smoky. That's why Hillshire Farm uses my best hickories and maples to smoke their little links for that natural, woodsy, hearty flavor. Hmm, and they're fully cooked. So they're always ready for unexpected guests. Yeah. <laughs> Hillshire Farm, taste the difference. Are your parents on welfare and you're really embarrassed? If you want to tell your mom or dad being on welfare is ruining your life, you could be a guest. Call 1-800-GO-RICKY or 212-889-7465. I think it's a problem to have homosexuals around children uh, or parenting because the children are going to learn about it eventually. I definitely disagree with that because sooner or later it's going to pick up with the children and then it's going to be another problem with the kids. You know, I think it should be straight parents and that's the way God intended to be and that's the way it is. around their kids even if they are a member of their own family. My next guest says when the, me the member of your family is gay that's even worse. Meet Jody. Jody says she doesn't want gays around her children because they might start touching them and then take it too far even if it's her own cousin. So that's how you feel. You think gay people just try to molest children? Maybe not all gays but my opinion is that if, if they're going to have the attitude that they can be gay who's to say how far they'll go? With anyone, not so you just think children, but with anyone. It's an attitude to be gay. It's just how they. It's, it's the way they choose to live, and anyone can argue the fact. Does anybody here decision. disagree and think that being gay is not a choice? Yes, ma'am, stand up. Yeah. Where are you from? <laughs> Will you say that? I mean.
If you're afraid somebody's going to touch your children, then you have to keep your children next to you. You can't send them to school. You can't send them to a store. You can't take them anywhere. Because being gay or being straight, anybody can molest your child. That doesn't make a difference what your sexuality is. And let me just read something. FYI, most pedophiles know their victims and are most often parents who abuse their own, usually female children. Only a small percentage of them are homosexual. So, I mean, there goes your theory. It's my right as a parent to raise my children the You're way right. I it want. You're right. It is your right. And but this is how I feel about it. This is how my children are going to be raised. They're going to be raised in a sheltered home, in a sheltered life. And that's how, that's how they're going to stay. But, you know, it's impossible to keep your children from... That means keeping them in a sheltered world. There is no such thing. There is. There is. You have, you have the power to raise your children any way you see fit. Okay. Yes, ma'am. I just think that being gay is a fact of life. And if you hide your children from facts of life, it's only going to hurt them in the long run. They have to know everything about life. And it's part of life. Being if. myself can, uh, can accept the fact that there are gay people in this world. I know there, there are probably millions of them, but I'm, not, I'm saying they're going to know about homosexuality and they're going to know. I will teach them, but I also will instill in them that it's wrong. And it's not only my theology, it is also millions of other people's but view, when and you, it's biblical. When do you open your child to this, you know, let them know? I agree with letting my son know sooner or later, but I mean, when do you, you know, when do you know when to tell him this, this thing, you know, how's he going to react to his grandpa? Is he going to hate him for it or is he going to, what kind of idea is he going to get? See, that's the thing. Yeah, yes, Jim, quickly. Quickly. The thing simply is, I wouldn't wish this choice of life on my grandson because it is difficult uh, in a lot of different ways. But, what if he is homosexual? Yeah, I was going to ask you that, What Joey. if he is homosexual? What if your what kid, if no your matter how much you teach him gay, that gay, being gay is wrong, what happens you're going if he to turns teach out him gay? That it's wrong. It isn't going to happen. <laughs> yes. It isn't going to happen. You say it isn't going to ha go ha happen, but let me just tell you, on another show that we did, we had a woman just like yourself who was trying to teach her son not to be gay, and her son killed himself. So what are you going to, you, are you saying suicide is the answer? No, suicide is not the answer, but the, my point is my children are going to have this instilled within them from, from their age now till they're at least 18 or on their own, how I believe, how I feel, and if they in their adult life choose to disregard everything that I teach them, that's their decision. I can't do anything about that. I have no more to do with them because they know how I stand on it. So you'd have nothing to do with them. If your child was gay, you'd, have, you'd kick him out of the house. I wouldn't, I would not, I wouldn't allow them to live in my home. I would love my children. I would not disown them. I wouldn't just kick them out of my life. All right. But I wouldn't approve All right. Well, we have lifestyle. your cousin who is gay here today. Bonnie, come on out here. Thanks for being here. Now, now your cousin will not let you hang out with the children when she is not in your presence. Not anymore. What do you think about that? <laughs> um, I think it sucks. I think it's awful. <laughs> <laughs> um, up until five years ago, I was a perfectly fine person. There wasn't anything wrong with me. I could babysit overnight for days at a time. Um, would you watch my children? Will you take my children here? Could you do this? Could you do that? But when I turned that, you know, that G word, <laughs> well, everything changed. Um, but I'd like to add, though, just for my family's sake, that not all my family feels this way. As a matter of fact, as far as I know, she's the only one that has this attitude. Because Where I have does a brother. it come from? Society. This is, in, this is how I feel. It comes within my own beliefs and the way I feel. Everybody has their own opinion. This is my opinion. Okay, fair enough. Yes, ma'am. Um, I'd like to say to the first family 
that if you love your father, you should let him see his grandchildren. Family should stick together. It should make a difference whether he's gay or not. And when the child grows up, you should let him decide whether he wants to see him or not. And so you got an opinion on everyone, don't you? <laughs> um, the lady in the green dress, Jody. I think you're living in a fantasy world. If you think that your child is not going to come in contact with some type of negativity or whatever it may be in the world, the, you cannot shelter your child forever. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. And being gay is not necessarily a negative thing. Yes, Next up, a woman who says she wants her gay ex-husband to stay away from the kids. Don't go away. See what's up on Ricky Lake. Why do you want to ask him to marry you? Because I love him. Yet you think he might say no. They've got the wedding bell blues. I want to show her that I really love her. Have you guys talked about marriage before? I just think it's time. But even though they're sure the answer is no, why are you worried that she might say no? Well? Oh, gosh. They'll still pop the question right here on the show. Will you marry me? Would you marry me? So maybe he will say yes. Should we find out? Don't miss the next Ricky Lake. Urkel and the guys are having a change of habit. Have mercy. Amen. Amen. They crashed a convent. This outfit is kind of comfy. And black has a slimming effect. To try to find Urkel's runaway girlfriend. <laughs> what does she look like? She has brown eyes. Oh, and she's very pretty. Big bazoom. But all they find is trouble. Look! She's a man. <laughs> it's America! On the next Family Matters. Today at 5 on Fox 30. Stephanie, you look great. Haven't seen you in a while. Thanks. Are you working here? Yeah, four years of college, and I'm still looking for a real job. But what about you? I just graduated from the St. Louis College of Health Careers. Are you working? Oh, yeah. I found a job before I graduated, and it didn't take me four years to do it. How long did it take? Well, the training is specialized, so a little over a year I was done. I love my job, make good money. Linda, you should call them. There's a lot of careers to choose from. I definitely will. Call St. Louis College of Health Careers at 845-6100 and start an exciting career today. Have you been hurt in an accident? When an accident happens, everybody says they're sorry, but no one wants to pay you. You need a lawyer working for you. Call our lawyers at 1-800-391-2020. We can help you get the money you deserve. We don't get paid until we get money for you. Call 1-800-391-2020 for free legal advice. Call the Personal Injury Associates. We help injured people. Call toll-free 1-800-391-2020. To burn up all these calories, you'd have to do 1,447 sit-ups. To burn up these calories, you can just sit up. Juicy fruit. Ah. Only 10 sweet calories. One sweet, juicy choice. Some happy thoughts get you in the end. But juicy fruit mm. gets you a happy ending. Ah. Only 10 sweet calories. One sweet, juicy choice. We asked women, which looks like the leading cough syrup? This one coats better. This one's thinner. It looks watery. This one that coats, it's the leading syrup, right? No, it's Vicks Formula 44. It doesn't just look different and feel better going down. What really matters is that it has maximum strength cough suppressant, and the leading syrup doesn't. So why take that? When there's this? Vicks Formula 44. The better coating, better feeling cough relieving medicine. I don't think you should keep homosexuals away from your children because you can't shelter your children from society forever and eventually they're going to be in contact with them and you don't want them to be prejudiced. I don't believe in that lifestyle, so I don't feel that they should be allowed around children. around their children, they will do almost anything to keep them away, even if it is the children's own father. Meet Sandy. Sandy says that after her children had a short visit with their father, she noticed that her children seemed different. How are they different, Sandy? Well, my nine-year-old son now has nightmares. Um, no, he's never had nightmares before this. And um, 
He doesn't want to, he doesn't, he came home and it was like he was home a week and he came to me and he goes, Mom, is, is Daddy gay? And I had to tell him, yeah. So why do you think after spending some time with his father, he now has nightmares? He know, I don't know. I don't know what happened. I don't know if it's just seeing his dad. Because he asked me, he goes, is he, de is he gay with Dave? And then I had to explain to him what being gay at nine years old, what that meant. And he made the decision on his own at nine that he no longer wants to associate with his dad. He changed his own last name to my husband's name. Because he doesn't want to know anything to do with being gay or anything else. Could it be that you taught him that, that being gay is no, bad? No, I have never. I am not homophobic or anything like that. I have gay friends. <coughs> I, it's not the gay lifestyle per se. It's my ex-husband's lifestyle. All right, well, let's meet that ex-husband. Come on out here, Jack. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Thanks for being here. So you... you forced your kid to have nightmares now. It's the first I've ever heard of it. What did, what did happen in that time that he spent with you? Anything? Well, he spent one night at my house. Uh, everything went great. He spent the rest of the time with his grandmother and grandfather. We went to Six Flags the following weekend, got him enrolled in school. She comes up and kidnaps my kids right out of school, doesn't bother to call me, tell me anything. Excuse me, I had a court order. The children were in my custody. He had visitation. I had to get a court order to get them back, to take them back to Texas. His parents illegally enrolled them in school, lied to the school district, told the kids... All right, hang on, hang on, hang on. The topic of is about him being gay. Right. Do you think, bottom line, do you think that Jack should lose custody of your kids because he's gay? Yes. He is not a good father. What makes you a good mother? You're living in sin with some man in Texas that makes you a good mother? I'm married. And he is a minister. Thank you. Some minister. They live in sin for six months. I think all your children are going to resent you later on in life, that you kept them away from their, their cousins, fathers. So. Yes, sir. I would just like to say I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ, and he, he will decide what's right and what's wrong. And I think it's wrong for you to deprive your children of being with their family. Thank that's you. the most important thing in America and in Thank the world. He has not been deprived. He was asked at Thanksgiving and at Christmas to bring his gay lover to our house. I made social provisions that his parents were not there because his parents threatened to kill him because he is gay. Okay? I made special provisions that they would not be there. I asked him on both occasions, please come to the house. The kids want you there for Christmas. They want you there for the holidays. Well, I can't. I'm going to Dave's family's house. That's much more important than my children. We did come to your house for Christmas. No, you did not. It was almost a was... month before Christmas. No, you it was dropped presents. The when day before no, it Christmas. wasn't. Was your boyfriend there at the time? Yes. He never comes without his boyfriend. That no, I'm asking about objection. your boyfriend. Mine? Your husband, your my boyfriend? My husband was there, yes. Yes, what do you want to say? I just want to make a comment. Long as they're treating the children the way they should be, what they're doing in their bedroom shouldn't matter. Thank you. Uh, who wants to say something? Yes, ma'am, stand up. Yeah. I, I actually believe that the whole issue here is just the word gay. I mean, they're normal human beings, you know? I mean, I don't think he wants you, so I think that's, you're just against him because you do still look good, you know? Gay or not gay. And you, in the blue, I mean, unbelievable, you know? I mean, there is a God here. We all bleed red and we're all come from the same God. What is your problem? Where are you from? Are you a Mormon? No. Or what? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. No. You know? Yes, Jack. You know, she never had a problem with me being gay or sane, or, or the kids being around me being gay, until I tried to uh, sue her for custody of my kids. No. That's when this no. whole thing came up. My divorce decree states you don't get the kids overnight because of your lifestyle. It didn't and the say fact lifestyle that, Yeah, in there. it's because of your lifestyle. That was between the two lawyers. No, that was between me and your lawyer. Like Jim said, it's not a lifestyle, it's a life. No, it's a lifestyle. Oh, I he told chooses you. to have gay lovers in his house. He has told me with his own mouth that he cannot have his own children at his home because his gay lover and his lesbian roommate do not want children in the home. No. That's a yes. whole other show. Said. Yes, it was. When we come back, a couple who said occasions. they wouldn't want their kids around some heterosexual people. Don't go away. Hi, 
I'm Charlie Counts, Counts Mountain Ford in Union, Missouri. We're wheeling and kneeling on the mountain this month. Our used car lot is overflowing. That means huge savings for you. Remember, cars are like eggs. They're cheaper in the country. Like this 91 Cavalier, 79 down, 129 a month. Or this 92 Tempo, 79 down, 139 a month. So pick up that phone and call collect. Or better yet, hurry on out to Counts Mountain Ford in Union. Just 45 minutes from the arch. Down I-44 to Highway 50 West. Just a short drive from high prices. They're here. The best training pants ever. Training pants that help our kids learn. Say hello to Pull-Ups Training Pants with Leak Guards. Moms say they work better than any other training pant. Pull-Ups keep wetness in and confidence high. Now more than ever, Pull-Ups help our kids learn. Mommy, wow! I'm a big kid now. Here's a simple trick every mom should keep up her sleeve. <laughs> Hershey's Miniatures. A little something for everyone. It's all over for chunky beef with country vegetables. Now there's an even chunkier chunky beef with country vegetables with more big chunks of beef and more hearty vegetables, so it's more satisfying. After all, chunky's good, but chunkier's better. Hi, I'm Michelle with Abasi Home Loans. If you're an investor that's looking for a high yield with absolute safety, it's your lucky day. You can earn 18% interest on your savings and your money will be secured by a title insured first deed of trust. Nothing can be safer than that. For more details, call me at Abasi Home Loans at 739-3529. That's 739-3529. Call now. Hello? Miss Smith, this is Miss Laws calling about your credit card bill. I promise to pay $10 next week. That's what you said last time. You have to pay the balance now or we'll garnish your wages. I can't. Maybe I'll file bankruptcy. You should just pay the bill. If you can't pay your bills, the last thing your creditors want you to do is talk to a lawyer about your rights. At Cassian Leonard, we can stop creditor harassment, relieve your debt, and give you peace of mind about your bills. Contact Cassian Leonard at 535-6770 for a free consultation. Who you gonna call to bust those high cable TV prices? Call the Cable Busters at Empire Satellite. With this great satellite system, get 250 TV stations for $39 a month. No money down and free installation. Call the Empire Satellite Cable Busters now at 939-9979. Because you don't give it to me the way you used to. They want it better in the bedroom. He's scheduling in times for us to make love. Sexual healing or I'm leaving. The whole sex thing really is about being connected. Thursday on Ricky Lake. Is your mom embarrassed because you're fat? Do you want to tell your mom she should love you no matter what your size? If so, you could be a guest. Call 1-800-GO-RICKY or 212-889-7465. I don't see any problem with homosexuals being around children. I say live and let live. However, I would, I would say that um, as long as they don't ex expose themselves or, uh, teach, or be unmoral to children, I think that's, uh, that's a, a, one of the problems we have today. Uh, as far as homosexuals raising children, as long as they become uh, productive parents, it's okay. It's fine. gay what would you do would you love them anyway and try to understand my next guest say they would kick that child out of the house meet Kevin and his wife Dina Kevin you would actually disown your child if yes. they were gay yeah I think it's morally wrong the Bible that I read the Bible says that homosexuality is wrong and that homosexuals should be put to death but what about unconditional love there is conditional love there is conditional love yes in our household, I mean, if my daughter came home and, and said she, that she was gay, you know, in our house, we don't choose to do that, you know? So she is, if at 14 she decides to do that, she should be responsible enough to make that choice and make the choice to live on her own. All right. Well, I would like you to meet a couple who say that parents like you are dangerous. Please welcome Steve and Phil. Come on out here. What do you want to say to Dean and 
Phil and Kevin. What do I want to say to them? First off, that's pure bigotry, okay? The <laughs> pure bigotry. You are a bigot. You are. If you, you, are. If you raise a child and you child. have a child, you should bring that child up to base somebody on their inner being, not on their race, not on their sex, not on their religion. Or sex. <laughs> It says, love thy neighbor. Listen, do I think not your neighbor? It says, love you mean? Did you write it yourself? God said, love one another, not gay, straight, fire, or anything else. We have your goddaughter. Wait, which one's Steve? My goddaughter, my cousin, and my other godson is in this audience who I practically raised. What do you want to say about your Uncle Steve? I don't think there's anything wrong with being gay. He loved me, I love him, he gave me everything I ever needed in life. He was like, he was practically a father to me, my whole life. Until my stepfather came along, hang on. We a very boring life. Yeah! yeah. you are different. Oh, therefore, keep it in your you home. You are different. You it is not being boring. No, and you should keep your lifestyle in your home. I do. Whatever okay. Bible, Bible we do, we do, got your we do not go out and protest on streets. I don't we do not Bible go out and The Bible says. I don't says. walk around with a sign on my back that says, hey, I'm gay. Should be this way. I, I, no. Hang on, guys. And, uh, one at a time. One at a time. Excuse me, Steve. Steve. No, I don't want to be around. Whether you like it or not, the Bible says and the Bible homosexuals should be killed. It does not. The Bible say. says in Leviticus 20:13, it says homosexuals you, I should be killed. I don't care what you say. Okay, you raised her well, but I'm trying to get you to behave here, okay? One at a time, Kevin. Hopeless is a chance of you not getting AIDS. That's the fact. Oh, no. AIDS is not a gay disease. You're wrong, Mom. You're wrong. Tell you I'm not wrong. You can get AIDS from anything. Relax. Yeah, AIDS from homosexuals and AIDS drugs. Yeah. AIDS I don't happens know. to AIDS. have been traced back to starting in the rhesus monkeys in Africa. Are you telling me they're gay? If that helps you sleep. They got gay monkeys swinging in trees? If that helps you sleep at we night. evolved the from fact the is, didn't we? The fact is that the majority of people with AIDS are homosexual. That is not the fact, sir. True. That is not the fact. That's the fact. Oh, Where's your fact coming from? Zero heterosexual that comes from an article that was in the papers a month ago talking about media hyping things and blowing things out of proportion. And you the fact is... You want to know the fact something? is homosexuals coming from these you? lights up here that they don't need the hot air coming from your mouth, Fine. okay? <laughs> Hot when you're in hell. That's what I'm saying. This is hell. hell living with people like you. Hey, it's hell. Now, Steve, Steve, now can this woman please speak? Yes. <laughs> so you're telling me the only way to get AIDS is through sex? Yes. I'm not telling you that. I'm telling so, you the most, the easiest way to get AIDS, the way it spread the fastest. And the way it spread the most is no. homosexual. So also that you're saying, it's true. It's true. It's true. It's you guys can deny it. You guys can deny Wait, it. Wait, hang on, hang on. Yes, yes ma'am. Make it go away. Excuse me. Yes. I think you better start researching a little more because you got the facts all wrong, honey. You don't think. You That's got the, the facts all wrong, no, and you, you over there, right. this homophobia, Jody. You got a real problem because no, if I you're don't. instilling fear and hatred into your children towards gays, gays. I don't what else are, are you instilling in your like children? Let me tell you something. And you, you about your at the end, gay. what's her name? No the daughter here? Her. Unconditional love, love honey. You should always love your father no matter no. what. It's not a matter of hate. One at a time. Yes, Kevin? It's not a matter of hate. It you can call it what you want. The fact is, they're wrong. The fact is, they're going to go to hell. Steve, what they do is wrong. Were your parents... Sure. I want to ask you guys a question. Were your parents, hang on one second tomorrow. Were you, were your parents straight? 
Yes. yes. Oh, heterosexual. Yes. I am the first gay person in five generations in my family, okay? It sounds like a my, choice. Family. My family, I have come from a Sicilian Irish family. We're as close to God as you can get. We got religious statues that don't in mean my nothing. home, okay? That don't mean nothing. I have, that doesn't I mean have, anything. I come from six kids. They all have nieces and nephews. They treat him more of an uncle, more of a, they give him more love than anything. They don't care the fact that he's gay. He doesn't do anything to influence their life other than show them that he's a person, that he cares a pervert, for them, and maybe. that he's got love for them. There is no pervert. When we come back, a mother who says she would rather have her gay friend watch her children than most of her straight friends. Don't go away. We'll be right back. The do's and don'ts of Doogie. Do wear cologne on a date. Wampa wampa. Don't date while you're driving. Do play to win. Don't play in your living room. Always replace your divots. And finally, do watch what you're doing. But don't miss Doogie. Doogie Hauser, MD. Now five times a week. Today at 5.30 on Fox 30. Bigger 69 cent cheeseburgers are here at Dairy Queen. Sure, you can buy cheeseburgers for 69 cents, but the cheeseburger at Dairy Queen has 66% more burger than both McDonald's and Hardee's regular size burgers. Now that's hot. The 66% bigger cheeseburger on sale now at participating Dairy Queen stores. Hot eats, cool treats, we treat you right. If you've received a traffic ticket, there are two things your auto insurance company doesn't want you to know. One, many times we can keep points from going on your record stopping your insurance rates from going up, and two, our phone number. Hi, I'm Todd Mandel of the Central St. Louis Law Office. If you've been charged with speeding, DWI, driving while suspended, or any other charge, we can help. Why lose time and money going to court to represent yourself? We'll fight the system for you. Our prices start at just $49. Call me today at 535-7780. Left, left, left. Ah. Right? Right! Uh. Ever wish you had more control over things? Come to Remco. Our new Any Way You Want It plan lets you choose the terms you want, like this complete audio video system from Magnavox. Own it in 12 months and pay less overall, or go to 24 and make smaller payments. At Remco, you're in control. Yes, yes, yes! As for everything else, no. you're on your own. Remco, the go-ahead-and-get-it, any way you want it store. Five ounces of milk make every three-quarter ounce craft single taste better. How do they do that? Dr. Milk uses a machine that fills up with milk. Then his helper mingles, squish the black. Dr. Milk mingles, squish the black. More milk means better taste, and every three-quarter ounce craft single is made from five ounces of milk. Woo! Unlike imitation cheese made mostly with oil and water. Dr. Milk knows. Milk makes craft singles taste better. K-R-A-F-T. Way to go, Mingo. Are your parents on welfare and you're really embarrassed? If you want to tell your mom or dad being on welfare is ruining your life, you could be a guest. Call 1-800-GO-RICKY or 212-889-7465. children is actually a very positive influence. Meet Jackie. Jackie says she's outraged by people who don't want gays around children. She says her gay friend James is like a member of her own family. She loves him being around her kids and would never want it any other way. Please welcome Jackie and her friend James. <laughs> Jackie, what do you want to add today? Well, I, I, I want to let everybody know that if, if you don't want gays around your children, then that's a negative attitude because then you're taking something away from them. You're not letting them enjoy everything that life can offer. My friend James is, is very good with my children. I would rather have him take care of my children when I go away or if I need a night out than most of my heterosexual friends. Yesterday I had a, a very bad cold. He made chicken soup for me. How many of your friends would do that for you? <laughs> So 
So what do you teach your kids about James being gay? Do you, do you explain it to him, to they, them? I, it's not that I've had to explain it. He, they know that he's gay. But to, to me and to my husband and to, to my children, he's no different. He's our friend. He's our neighbor. And he's there for us when we need him, just like any other friend would be. All right. Yes, ma'am. The lady in the, in the blue dress there, um, Jody. if she's your cousin and she's watched your children be, before and now, why, how come she can't be with your children now? But she did not watch my children all the time for me. It's very I mean, seldom she's been, did she watch she's my been children. around your children. I don't want my if she kids wanted to do something her. to your I'm children, sorry. she could have done it then. But I don't deprive a lady. Let me just say, Bonnie, you have two deprive... children of your own. Yes, also, I do. yes, I do. She has and a daughter that I, lives with her. And yes, her I have a daughter mother. that lives with me, and my son lives with his father um, uh, by his own choice. And I would like to point out and tell everybody that my daughter will be 11 years old. And that child is more educated and has more sense than most of the people on this panel. I just, I just met this woman a few minutes ago, and I think this woman has more class, more to her than anything. If she has a child, she's bringing up her in the right way, and she's going to teach her to accept people for what they are. Yes, ma'am, what do you want to say? I just want to say that these two right here the husband and wife yes sorry i'd rather have the gay couple raise a kid if i had one than you tell me look yeah, at yourself my right is that a nose ring in your nose child. Yeah. is that a nose ring in your nose what does it matter but i mean it's look at you two you guys look like elvira and you and i don't know what <laughs> Going to hell. I'm gay to you. You're, You're still going to hell. The Bible. I don't set standards. The Bible. Because the Bible says. Excuse me. Kevin. Kevin. Read Leviticus. Phil. 13. Yes. All right. <laughs> uh, hey, the guy Tell from the musical. I just want to tell the guy with the funny eye, the sideburns. Um, I wouldn't say funny. The, the Bible says, love thy neighbor, not to hate anyone. So just because someone is gay doesn't mean you have to hate them. I don't hate anybody. Ricky, may I? I don't hate anybody. Yes, Jim, quickly, we're going to break. No, yes, Jim. Say it, the Bible says. The Bible tells you something. Yes, um, you know, with respect to everybody here on this panel, I grew up in the mid-50s as a teenager, okay? I was going into strong denial from the time probably I was, uh, consciously, I was going into strong denial from the time I was about seven or eight years old. Now, I've been a recovering alcoholic now for over two years, and hopefully will continue to stay that way for the rest of my life. Part of the reason for some of my problems in using alcohol was because Society I was hiding was not accepting something and I could not be re live with this. That's All right. right. And I, I, that's I wouldn't want to see that happen to any child. All right, need to take a break. When we come back, a high school teacher who almost lost his job for saying he was gay. We'll be right back after this. Why do you want to ask him to marry you? Because I love him. Popping the question when you're sure they'll say no. Well, next Tricky Lake. <laughs> That's it. We're through. I don't find you attractive. Truth is, you make me uncomfortable, so this relationship is over. Finito. I've got something new in my life. New moisture recovery from Lubriderm with alpha hydroxy. It exfoliates old skin, adding nourishing moisture to the skin beneath. So. Move over, baby. Oh. Starting now, I'm into a whole new skin. And don't even think about coming back. New moisture recovery from Lubriderm for the skin you'd rather be in. America, millions of you have skinny hair. Well, stop hiding it. From Conair, get the Big Curls Hot Air Curling Iron and Brush. Styles as it dries, brushes in volume. Nobody's bigger in hair than Conair. Introducing three new luxury models, sleek, aerodynamic, with rich metallic finishes, engineered to go from 0 to 1625, the new Aero Series dryers from Remington. We're out to change the way you dry. No credit? Poor credit? No problem. At Instacredit Auto Mart, everyone qualifies for a loan regardless of your past credit history. With as little as $500 down, Instacredit will put you behind the wheel of a reliable pre-owned vehicle. And if you're not completely satisfied with the vehicle you buy, return it within seven days for a full refund. No questions asked. 
Over 450 affordable cars, trucks, and vans. Row after row of great-looking vehicles to choose from. Mention this ad and get an additional $500 off. We finance on the spot at Instacredit Auto Mart in Collinsville, Illinois. We had a big holiday party coming up, and I had family and friends coming I hadn't seen since my daughter's christening. I looked in the mirror, and I still looked pregnant. So I decided to call Jenny Craig. All my life, I'd had sisters who were really tall and thin, so it was really nice to finally have the spotlight on me. Now you can get your first week of Jenny Craig food free when you join our program. Call 1-800-39-JENNY today. It was the first Christmas with my new daughter and the new me. It was an absolutely wonderful feeling. Gordon, right? Yes. Have you ever worked with anything high-tech? No. Thank you for the resume. But we're looking for someone with... More education. Some experience. Good luck to you. What you don't know can hurt you. So let ITT Tech help. Call 1-800-942-0077 for an informative brochure. That's 1-800-942-0077. Next. General Dynamics leaves St. Louis. Bell moves to Texas. GM plant to close. I'm T.J. Mullen, attorney at law. No matter what good news you've heard about the economy, St. Louis has been hard hit by corporate moves and layoffs. If you've been laid off or found a new job at a lower pay, you could be in financial trouble. Chapter 13 lets you pay your bills over time and will stop garnishments, repossessions, and foreclosures. Call my office for a free brochure on your rights. T.J. Mullen, 862-7474, Illinois, 277-0707. Introducing the amazing Once Over Duster Polisher. It's treated with lemon oil so it actually collects and absorbs dust while it polishes and shines. The Once Over is ideal for hard to reach places like Venetian blinds and shutters, woodwork and furniture, even electronic equipment. It's so quick and easy you can dust your home in just a few minutes. The Once Over Duster Polisher for people who have better things to do. Available with retreatment packs from these fine stores. important people in our children's lives. Many children can learn more from their teacher than anyone else. So how would you feel if your child's teacher told, you, told the class that he was gay? For my next guest, revealing his sexuality to his classroom almost got him fired until his own students fought to save his job. Please meet teacher Rodney Wilson. <laughs> So do you think that being gay is a negative influence on children? Absolutely not. Being gay, being a woman, being a man, being African American, being European American, the same thing. It can be a positive influence depending on the person, it can be a negative influence depending on the person. So how did your coming out to your class affect them, if at all? I, I think one thing it did, it made them aware that there are gay people in the world. My, uh, or the high school I teach in has 2,000 students, 100 faculty members. Now they know at least one faculty member is gay, and that's a good thing. Okay. Yeah, you have your hand raised. Yeah, stand up, Sandy. Um, oh, really? This man right here is a consummate liar. He's sitting here saying, oh, it's just wonderful to be gay. He lied for 10 years to me, yeah, to his kids. No. He lied to his... No, no. Society yes, Jack. I lied to myself lie. for many society years. It took a long time lie. to get the courage you to come lie. out. I asked him point blank in our marriage if he was gay. He lied. He lied to his parents. His parents threatened to kill him. His parents threatened to kill him. And now they're buddy buddies because we are at time. His family against him. It's all part of the sickness. Ricky, lying. Excuse me. No, it's a sick choice. I'd like to say something to this. I was listening to these during the break, which no one else heard. I would like to tell it on national television, I do not have a mental problem, and my sexual preference does not make me sick. Yes, ma'am. I want to thank him there. Um, who told you that they're going to go to hell because they're homosexuals? The Bible says. What Bible? His Bible. Leviticus 20:13. In what Bible? How can you get up on television and Do you read the Bible? Then you Not the know. one that you read. You no. No, Leviticus. No, my Bible doesn't tell me that homosexuals are going to go to hell. Bigots you and people that thing. judge you are going to gonna go to hell. I don't judge anybody. I don't judge anybody. Come on. Come on. You're talking about judging people. We have made a conscious choice in our home 
to raise our child a certain way. And so, uh, okay, you can't shut up that for power. just a second, okay? You can't change that. I know, okay, you just can't. If your child's going to be done, hang on, Steve. You call us names and she can't tell you to shut up. You are the ignorant oh, excuse one. Excuse me. I ever called, called you a dog. Let Tina finish. Let Tina yes. finish. You Hang on. Call us excuse ignorant. me, Kevin, let your wife finish. I have we we have made a conscious choice to raise our child a certain way. Okay? To not we don't want our child to be around gays until she is responsible enough to know what is right and wrong. In our minds and in our beliefs, it is morally wrong. So you that just is our contradicted please, yourself. Please. It is But it you is just contradicted right. yourself. You just said homosexuals should go to hell, and now you now just you said when your daughter is old enough, she can make her decision to understand. When, when, when she's she 18, I can't when she is 18, she can do whatever the hell she wants. She can be gay. We're talking That's child. fine. So I don't until want that anything point, to do with her. If she is gay, she's going to hell. Exactly. We'll be right back after this. Cliff here with my brother Biff. The good looking one. Right. <laughs> Only way mom could tell us apart was I like dinner at dinner time. Yeah, and I like breakfast at dinner time. So when we have dinner at IHOP, I can get a great T bone steak. And I can have fruity country griddle cakes or steak and eggs. Dinner for dinner. Or breakfast for dinner. Good thing we weren't triplets, huh, Cliff? Yeah, one of us might want breakfast for lunch. Ooh, Ooh yeah. yeah. Home style dinners starting at $3.99, featuring country fried steak anytime, seven days a week at your IHOP now. For us, barbecuing is more like an event than a meal. It's the outdoorsy thing, the smoke, the sizzle. <laughs> Whatever it is, the kids love it. So we found this play school toy called the Magic Smoking Grill. It really smokes and makes great sizzle sounds. Whoa, smoking! Who wants a hot dog? There's lots of stuff to barbecue. And you can get extra sets for shish kebabbing and picnics. Whoa! And everything comes out just right. I didn't burn them like Daddy does. Some toys are better than the real thing. So, which bleach is better on tough stains? She says Biz is better. That's Ultra Biz. He says his is better. His is a leading color safe bleach. We let the stain set in overnight. Then... One small scoop of Ultra Biz here. Twice as much color safe bleach here. Hey! And the winner is... Biz! What? Biz is better than his. <laughs> Ultra Biz. The better stain getter. If you've been hurt in a car accident or any kind of accident, you may have the right to collect money, and we can help. Call our lawyers. Call 1-800-391-2020. We help accident victims collect money. We don't get paid until we get money for you. Call 1-800-391-2020 for free legal advice. So if you've been hurt in a car accident or any kind of accident, call the Personal Injury Associates. Call 1-800-391-2020. To all you men who are planning to come into venture for an appliance this Christmas, may we suggest our jewelry department? All of our gold and gemstone jewelry is 65 to 70% off. And that appliance thing, well, that could just be our little secret. Ivy Club, Midwest Traders, Headliners, MTO. These are some of the name brands you'll find exclusively at Venture. Which is good, because if you found them elsewhere, they probably cost more. about AIDS and I want to remind you that no one on today's panel is an expert on AIDS. If you want information we suggest you contact your doctor or an AIDS hotline. Remember children are not born to hate and fear, they are taught to hate and fear. It is important to surround children with people who love and support them no matter what. I want to thank you all for watching. Till next time. <laughs> Promotional fees have been paid by the following. Canker sores are torture. Try Sensaguard and stop pain fast. Sensaguard won't wash off. Sensaguard stops the pain fast, stops canker sore pain for hours. Hooked on Phonics, the reading program for preschoolers, older students, and adults. Call 1-800-ABCDEFG. Lever 2000, the deodorant soap that's best for your skin and for all your 2000 parts. And unscented Lever 2000. 2000 flushes chlorine clear tablet. Helps bleach away stains in your toilet up to four months. 2,000 flushes chlorine clear tablet. If you're going to be in the New York area and want to be a part of our live studio audience, all you have to do is write for tickets. Please include your name, address, and daytime phone number. Write Ricky Lake tickets. 
401 Fifth Avenue, New York, New York, 10016. Once, she lived in poverty and ate from garbage cans. Don't miss the made-for-TV movie, Madonna. Innocence Lost, tonight at 7. But now it's time for Star Jones, Attorney at Law. Real cases and real verdicts on Jones and Jury, next on Fox 30. How did one young girl rise from total obscurity?